All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing in a rematch for the WBO Featherweight Championship of the World. And that's followed by a right hook by Wong, followed by a straight left hand. He's finding a little rhythm, and he's gaining his confidence confidence against the only man that's ever beaten him. He's got the crowd behind him. Lopez, stiff jab. 34 seconds to go. He's still been out landing so far in this round, but he has come back and made a round of it. He's got to find that one punch that's going to yes. turn it around. Yep. And we know Salido is a hard man. I mean, he can take <laughs> a punch. Swelling under the left eye of Salido, so he's been with a couple right hands there. but not nearly enough. Oh, big right again by Salido. And the body works of Salido, very impressive. Ooh, he barely missed him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't you feel like there's something big coming? Yes, you do. By Salido. Lopez smiles. That means he's hurt. Oh, there it is. A left hook. Salido moving in for the kill. 18 seconds ago, oh. and he slips. That was a knockdown. That may be called a knockdown. You face the same man that handed you the first loss of your entire career to turn this fight around. But again, he has to find it within himself. Uh, it's, it's scary to go back in there when he got it. Knocking you out. Now, I think in that last round, he landed his most significant punches. And I thought there were some power punches that got the attention of Orlando Salido. So we'll see if that can continue, even though I still think Salido probably won that round. This fight scheduled for 12 rounds for the WBO Featherweight Championship. Orlando Salido, the champion in silver, taking on Juan Manuel Lopez, the man he took the title from in purple. He took it from him in Puerto Rico, and he's here to defend it once again. One positive thing we can say for Lopez, he landed only 19% of his punches in the last fight. He's landing 39% in this fight. He's still down to Salido, but he is landing at a slightly at a better rate. And he's still coming forward with that chin high. Yes. That's dangerous for any fighter because, man, Salido throws these overhand, looping overhand shots that you don't see. And you run right into it when you have your chin high, like Lopez. Salido coming straight ahead. Lopez not using any angles to turn him and throw shots. It's there. Also, Salido bending over the uppercut. A possibility as well for Juan Manuel Lopez if he can find himself in this fight. Nice looping right hand by Orlando Salido. Just at some point probably another right hand by Salido. I mean, I was com coming in this fight, I felt that if Lopez can afford getting hit by these big shots, he might have a chance to win this fight, but he's not avoiding no. those big shots. Well, now, my decision now to get in close. And Salido says, Lord, that Lopez were accustomed to see. He might have Salido on his heels a little, even though Salido's counterpart is off those goals. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Again, Lopez is standing straight up, and he's successful for one of the big overhand rights from Salido. Look at the combination punches by Orlando Salido, now backing up. Four punch combination. This is, this is, these are two men in there, guys. I mean, this is spectacular by, even though Salido's winning this fight, Lopez is acquitting himself with dignity, valor, and toughness. Remember, Lopez has 28 knockouts to his credit. 31 and 1. Juan Mott. Tyra Salido. And look at Salido's eye. Yeah. Swelling under both. He's blinking. Breathing. At 
the beginning of the 10th round out of his mouth. Now, Salino has landed almost 100 punches more than Lopez. Oh, 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 he goes down! Salino with the uppercut. Warma staggering. That is it. That's it. That's a good stoppage. Good stop. Young man took a lot of punches right now. Wow. Orlando Salino does it again.